Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying four Fannie Mae uh, chocolate bars. Um, mine are both milk chocolate. So I have the butterscotch with sea salt and the pecan brittle. Mine are dark chocolate, sea salt almond, and mint and cookie bits. These were $3.09 each at Meyer, and this is a 3.5 ounce bar or 100 grams. So, let's see, how do you open them? From the top. I'm gonna let you open it. I'll put the head up. No, I guess not. Put the head piece of tape on the side. Yeah, it opened really, just really easy at the top. Okay, so this is milk chocolate pecan brittle. No preservatives, no artificial flavors, no artificial colors. Fannie Mae has been crafting delicious chocolates with love, passion, and the very best ingredients for over 100 years. Premium pecans and crunchy brittle blends with silky milk chocolate for an indulgent taste sensation. That's why Fannie Mae chocolate is a part of so many of life's special moments. When premium ingredients come together, memories are made forever. Fannie Mae together is timeless. Um, www.fannymae.com and these are uh, four servings in the container, two squares is 130 calories. So what's the for? Pecan brittle. It was like a little, the reason I asked what it was is the, there were some crispy uh, sugary pieces mm -hmm. in there. I'm assuming that's a brittle. What was the pecan? I didn't really get pecan out of it. I tasted more of this, uh, like a brittle, like a toffee almost flavor. It's almost uh, like a cooked sugar. Nice chocolate though. Mm -hmm. I like the texture of the top chocolate. These are made in North Canton, Ohio. Huh. So Fannie Mae, we've had Fannie Mae before. They were like a box of chocolates, weren't they? Or like separate chocolates, they weren't bars. Mm. I like this. Mm -hmm. I like the brittle, but I'm with Kevin. I don't taste any pecan whatsoever. No, no, none at all. I mean, you wouldn't know it was there. No, they show like pieces on there. And you see the pieces. I mean, they're there. I, I made sure we got some. But you just don't taste them. I don't have an issue with that. I don't mind that. I like pecans, but truly the brittle itself is so sweet mm -hmm. and so delicious that it doesn't matter that I didn't taste the pecan. To me, it doesn't matter mm -hmm. just because I enjoyed the chocolate and yep. I enjoyed that brittle flavor. Yeah, it's a nice chocolate that <clears throat> to melt on your tongue. It's, it's one of those kind of Yes, chocolate. yes, that's a very, very nice bar. Okay, now this one I'm really excited about too. Um, this is milk chocolate butterscotch with sea salt. And yes, you could open these the wrong way. I'm just taking these away. <laughs> Crunchy butterscotch and a pinch of sea salt with silky milk chocolate. Four servings, two squares is 120 calories. Hmm. No, what does it have in it? I'm wondering what that is. Butterscotch. Okay. There was like a little thing in the back. Butterscotch and a pinch of sea salt. Hey, Thank you. You have that little piece. Oh. Wow. It's a strong butterscotch. Mm hmm. That's delicious. It's like they ground up the little butterscotch disc mm -hmm. and mixed it in with chocolate. That's how strong it is. It's um, those Brock's discs mm -hmm. are very, very strong, and that is what that tastes like. Mm -hmm. Now, back when you're chewing them up, they get stuck in your teeth. They're strong <laughs> and they're good quality. Mm -hmm. Um, that. It's very it's impressive because a lot of times you get something that says butterscotch, but it doesn't really taste like butterscotch. It tastes more like a toffee or a caramel. Or a caramel. This tastes like genuine butterscotch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. And yeah, they did a very good job. Just know, like Kevin said, those, um, it is like, you know how butterscotch is like glassy pieces. Um, of candy, it will get stuck in your teeth. Yeah. Just know that. But to me, that's like a little treat. <laughs> because if it's stuck in your teeth, then you can take yeah, your tongue back like there. Hangs around for a while. Work it out really good. Uh, keep enjoying that. 
Um, so, I, I, which one out of the chocolate, milk chocolate ones, which one do you like better? The butterscotch, 100%. I think I'm going for the butterscotch too. I love that brittle. Um, if it had more of an almond flavor, I think I would have liked it better. But pecan. I mean, uh, pecan. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I really, really like the brittle, but but yeah, I'm going for the butter. Now, I did not taste sea salt. Um, I may have got a little bit of salt, but it was still mixed in with the butterscotch. You would have noticed. Right. That. Okay. This one's full. So this is dark chocolate sea salt almond, and it is two squares or 130 calories. Almonds with dark chocolate and just the right amount of sea salt. And you can see they put plenty of almonds. Mm, that's all. Mm. I like that. That's a, it's a softer dark chocolate than some. It's not like that really brittle uh, snappy dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's not drying either. Mm, a little bit, but not not bad. Mm -mm. No. Um, I get the salt. I definitely get the almonds. You get That's everything. Nice. No. Yes, you get salt, almonds, the dark chocolate. If you like dark chocolate, if you're a dark chocolate lover, this would be a really good quality mm -hmm. bar to buy. Yeah, um, and it doesn't cover up the flavors of the of the almonds. So. No, and it's going to last you. You know, if you keep it to the serving size, two squares, uh, it's going to last you four days mm -hmm. or four four servings, four times. Um, uh, so three dollars is not bad for for four servings at mm -hmm. all. No, that's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that is nice. If you're a fan of dark chocolate. Okay, so now even if you're not a fan of dark chocolate, just kind of like it a little bit, like I, like us, um, I still think it's good. I do too I because not it's that. not bitter and it's not drying. It yeah. really isn't, and still good. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is dark chocolate mint and cookie wow. bits with cacao nibs. The, lots of cacao nibs. Yeah, and well, or cookies. Oh, that mm -hmm. could be the cookie bits. Ooh, wow. Okay. We'll see. No, very strong. Two squares, 130 calories, chocolatey cookie bits, and cacao nibs with dark chocolate and mint. I love the cookie. No, it's mostly cookie. Mm hmm. Yeah, on the back. I'm glad they didn't put a lot of cocoa nibs because I wouldn't have liked it as much. Because they come across as kind of bitter. Mm. That is so much better than I thought it was going to be. Mm. The mint really goes well with the chocolate. The Well, when I smelled it, I was afraid because it smells strong. The you very know, mint. I was afraid it was going to smell, oh, that it was going to taste oh, too strong. But it's actually really nice, and I absolutely love the texture. Mm -hmm. I love the addition of the, you get the little crunchy nibs, but mainly you're getting cookie. Mm -hmm. And it's a terrific texture. I like this, the mint, more than the sea salt on I, I do too. Uh, the only problem is those cocoa nibs, they have a texture mm -hmm. when you get them. And I had like two of them left over. Um, that reminds you of coffee beans. Mm -hmm. So they have that little shell like you've eaten a cockroach. <laughs> you know that really thin like shell, like crunchy hard piece. It feels like I'm eating a bug shell. Um, that's just me. I'm weird. I don't know. But that's the texture of those after you've, after you've eaten a candy bar. I had a couple of those like in my teeth and that was like, ugh. Kevin doesn't like uh, like coated coffee beans. So like I like that texture and that crunchiness. But if you think about it, if you were to bite into a bug, it probably would be like that because bugs have hard shells. Shell. <laughs> so Kevin always thinks of that. Uh, and I, so I get what he's saying, Tony. It doesn't put me off to where I couldn't eat it, but it just, it, it's a That's plot. just a personal preference yeah. thing for him. Um, out of the dark chocolate ones though, I would totally go for flavor. that because yeah. I love that. Uh, but then out of the milk chocolate, oh, I think I'm going to go for the butter chocolate. But yeah. I tell you, to me, the butterscotch just beats out the pecan brittle, and I would like to see them do one where they leave out the pecans completely and just give me more brittle. Mm -hmm. 
give me more brittle, like a Roca type thing. Give me more of that brittle and just cover it with that milk chocolate. I would absolutely love yeah. that. Yeah, that would be good. But I think all of these are good quality. I absolutely think they're worth three dollars a piece. Mm -hmm. They're um, good. Very, very nice. Yeah, they're they're definitely a higher quality chocolate than you would buy at the checkout at the store. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so I will have a picture for uh, uh, each one of these for you at the end. And thanks for watching.